there are some yoga poses that we might feel like we're moving toward them, but we haven't nailed them. This is one of those poses. Pichamayarasana, it's a forearm balance, and it can be turned into quite a back bend. You might have seen photos of very accomplished yogis with their feet all the way to their head in a very full back bend. As we move toward refining this pose, there are many steps. We need arm strength, we need upper back flexibility, we need a nice evenness to the in-breath and out-breath to have the strength to hold the pose. Let's work on moving toward Pichamayarasana and find some more accessible approaches toward getting to the full pose. You might want to use a block and a chair for these moves. Let's start in a forearm balance with fingers interlaced, the elbows slightly narrower than the shoulders are to create a nice foundation for an inversion. As you come to a wall that works for you, have your elbows hugging in, tuck your toes under, lift up, walk in, reach your feet up, have your gaze toward the floor or toward the baseboard, toward the wall in front of you, and slowly come on down as you're ready. Once you feel like you've gained strength in the forearm balance, it's time to practice the form of Pichamayarasana with your forearms down and your hands separated. Now, some people like to use a strap for this. I find that I come to rely on the strap. So using a block makes more sense to me. If you put the block just near the webbing, but not at the webbing, between the thumb and the index finger. Pull your elbows in toward the midline of your mat. Lift your pelvis up, your knees up, walk in. Lift up. Come down and release. One way to practice on arm strength for a longer hold is to come to an L position at the wall. It's a difficult practice in itself. But let's try it so that we can continue this practice of gathering strength for our arms. Let's use the interlaced fingers as our first step toward gathering this strength with your feet at the wall with your fingers interlaced at the mat as you're ready lift yourself up to come to this dolphin pose this forearm downward facing dog take one leg up take the other leg up and just trust in the wall as you press from the pelvis back to the heel and you keep a nice strength in the forearms. As you come down, you may want to rest in child's pose. Now try that same action with your forearms pressing down, the elbows hugging in. Come a little bit further from the wall if you find that just a little bit too challenging in that more contracted position. With your toes tucked under, lift your pelvis up, find the wall. And trust in the strength of your arms. Release your feet down. So it's a good arm strengthener, but as you can see, it's not the pose that we're going toward. 
And the pose we're going toward requires us to really give a nice kick to lift our legs in a greater radius. So to give your legs a little bit more space to move, grab a chair, place the chair right at the wall, find your block, grab your block, place the block right between the chair legs, place your hands on the block, Squeeze in with the inner index finger and the inner thumb. Lift yourself up. Lift the pelvis, walk in. Lift up, find the wall, create a little back bend in the action and slowly make your way out of the pose. Enjoy your breath. Enjoy ease. Enjoy this next step toward moving into the fullness of the pose, Pincha Mayarasana. Thanks for joining this exploration. Namaste.